All right. In this video, we are going to look at lines connected to circles. And the first type of line that we're going to look at is a tangent. So remember, a tangent is a line that touches a circle at one point only. And the important thing is that the radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact. So given the information about the circle, if we are given the equation of a circle, we can then find the center coordinates, we can find the radius, we can find if we are given the point of contact, we can find other information about that as well. So the questions that we're going to look at in this video, the types of questions, number one, we're going to be looking at finding the equation of the tangent So first of all, when we are given a point of contact. Second of all, when we are given the slope of the tangent. Third type we're going to look at is finding a tangent when we are given a point outside the circle. And lastly, we're going to look at finding the length of a tangent. So remember, a tangent is a straight line that touches a circle at one point only and is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact. That information is going to be key in terms of solving the questions we're going to be looking at. So the questions we're going to be looking at are from exercise 12 on page 331. So exercise 12 page 331. First of all, we're going to look at question number one, part C. So in question number one, part C, we're asked to find the equation of a tangent to the circle S at the point P. We are given the equation of the circle, which is x squared plus y squared plus 4x plus 2y minus 12 equals zero. And we're given the point P the point of contact, which is minus one, three. So we have to find the equation of the tangent at this point to this circle. First thing we're going to need is the center of the circle. So when you're given the equation of a circle like this, the first thing you should be writing down is the center of the circle and the radius of the circle, because that information can be used in the question. To get the center, and it's good practice, to get the center, we look at the coefficient of x, the coefficient of y. Remember, 2g is the coefficient of x, which in this case is 4, meaning that g is equal to 2. 2f is the coefficient of y, which in this case is 2, so therefore f is 1. And therefore the center, which is minus g minus f, is the coordinates minus 2 minus 1. The radius of the circle is found from the formula, the square root of g squared plus f squared minus c. So that is 2 squared plus 1 squared minus minus 12 which in this case gives us a radius of root 17. So it's always useful to draw a quick sketch of what we're looking for. So we know now that we have a circle. The center of our circle is minus two, minus one. The point of contact is minus one, three. And we're looking for the equation of this tangent here. We also know that there is a distance of root 17 from our center to our point of contact. Now, when we're looking for the equation of a line, there's two things that we need. We need the slope of the line and we need a point on the line. We already have point P. The only thing that we're missing is the slope of the tangent. So the first thing we need to do is because we know that a tangent is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact is find the slope between the point C and the point P. So the slope of the line CP is y2 minus y1, so that's 3 minus minus 1, over x2 minus x1, minus 1 minus minus 2, which gives us a slope of 4. We now know that the slope of the tangent is going to be perpendicular to that, which means we invert and change sign, so the slope of the tangent is a quarter. Subbing this information then in, and we know that the point of contact is minus 1, 3. Subbing this information into the equation of line y minus y1 equals m by x minus x1. We're looking at y minus 3 is equal to minus a quarter x plus 1. Minus minus 1 gives us plus 1. 
Multiplying across by 4 to eliminate our fraction here, we have 4y minus 12 is equal to minus x minus 1. And when, we're given, when we are given the equation of a tangent, we should always bring everything to one side and give it as ax plus by plus c is equal to 0, unless otherwise stated. So we have x plus 4y minus 11 equals 0 is the equation of our tangent. So that's the first type of question that we can get based on tangents to circles. The next type of question we're going to look at is where we are given the slope of a tangent. So for this one, we're going to look at question 2, part D. So in question 2, part D, we are asked to find the equations of the tangents. Be careful now that there are two tangents possible here to the circle. So our circle equation is x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 5y plus 4 is equal to 0. And we are also told that the tangents are perpendicular to the line 3x plus 8y minus 11 equals 0. So that's the information we're given. So again, a quick sketch of what's happening here. We are looking at a circle. From this, we can get our center point. We'll do that in a minute. And we have two tangents that are perpendicular to this line. So the reason we have two is we can have one on this side of the circle and one on this side of the circle. Both of these tangents are parallel and they are perpendicular to this line here. OK, so again, we need two pieces of information in order to be able to find the equation of a line. We need a point of contact and we need um, the slope of a line. First thing we're going to do is get the center and the radius of our circle here. So if we look at our circle again, we look at the coefficient of X, coefficient of Y, 2G is equal to minus 8. 2f is equal to 5, which means g is minus 4 and f is 5 over 2 or 2.5. This means that our center of our circle is 4 comma minus 5 over 2 and the radius of our circle, the square root of g squared plus f squared minus c minus 4 squared plus 5 over 2 squared minus 4 that gives us a radius of root 73 over 2. OK, so that's our first job. We need to make sure that we get those two pieces of information straight off. All right. The other thing that we need to do is we know that our tangents are going to be perpendicular to this line here. So we need to get the slope of this line and therefore the perpendicular slope. So the slope of our line we need to rearrange this equation into the format y equals mx plus c. So first thing we do is isolate the 8y, so that gives us minus 3x plus 11. Dividing across by 8, we get y is equal to minus 3 over 8x plus 11 over 8, meaning that the slope of line L is minus 3 over 8, which means our perpendicular slope of our tangent is going to be 8 over 3. So that is the first piece of information we have in terms of figuring out our equation of our line. We don't have a point of contact yet, but because we know the slope of the line, using the equation format y equals mx plus c, we can say that our line, our tangent, is equal to y is equal to 8 over 3x plus c, or 3y equals 8x plus c and bringing everything to one side and leaving it in the format ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. We're looking at 8x minus 3y plus c minus c, apologies, plus c, no, plus c, it was right first, is equal to zero. So this is the equation of our tangent. So obviously we're missing the c component. So we've done all we can in terms of looking at our circle and looking at our perpendicular slope of our line. Now we need to figure out how are we going to get this piece of information here. So remember, a tangent is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact. But using the information that we have here, we know that the length of that line is root 73 over 2. So if it is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact, that means that the perpendicular distance from the center to the tangent 
is going to be the length of the radius. So we have to go back and use our information that we learned about in the coordinate geometry of a line to help us here. So the formula that we're going to be using is the perpendicular distance formula. So let me have to rub a little bit out here. So we need to keep our key information. So our tangent is the format AX minus 3Y plus C is equal to zero. And the center point of our circle is four minus five over two. So this is our starting working out. The next thing we have to do is let the perpendicular distance, so the absolute value of AX1 plus BY1 plus C over the square root of A squared plus B squared equal the radius of the circle. So filling in the information that we have here, our tangent A is 8, so we're looking at the absolute value of 8 times by 4 plus minus 3 times by minus 5 over 2 plus C over the square root of 8 squared plus minus 3 squared is going to equal root 73 over 2, which is the length of our radius. So multiplying out, we multiply the bottom on this side by the other side to eliminate the fraction here, so cross multiplying. And we, uh, we tidy up this absolute value here and we get the absolute value of 79 over 2 plus C is equal to 73 over 2. So now that we have arrived at our absolute value equation, we have to let the, absolute, the 79 over 2 plus C equal both the positive and negative component here. So we're looking at 79 over 2 plus C is equal to plus 73 over 2 or... 79 over 2 plus c is equal to minus 73 over 2. Bringing the number across the other side, we are left with c is equal to, first of all, minus 3, and c is equal to minus 76. So therefore, the equations of the tangents that are possible, remember it's 8x, plus, uh, 8x minus 3y uh, plus c is equal to 0. So our first equation is going to be 8x minus 3y minus 3 equals 0 and the second possible tangent is 8x minus 3y minus 76 is equal to 0 and those are the two possible equations of our tangents that are perpendicular to that original line. So I'll look at question, a question from question 3 and question 4 in the next video as I want to keep them nice and short. Based on this video I'd like you to try the, the questions in exercise 12 page 331 Questions one and two. Thank you.